This will be the last lesson of this playlist. And let's start with hiding this vertical line. The setting responsible for that line is located under Color Scheme General section. It's called Indent Guide. And here what we have to do to hide that line is to actually apply the same color for this line as the color of the background of the code. And this way that line will become invisible, like so. The next thing I'm going to do is to hide this title. As we can see this title shows folder name as well as path to the file. But we can actually see the path in the status bar right here. So there is no need to show this path twice. And in order to hide the title we have to install third party plugin Simple Titles. So let's search for this plugin and install it. After this let's restart IDE. But after the restart we still can see the title. So what we need to do next is to go to Settings, open up Simple Title Format Settings, and in here we just have to keep these two fields empty. Let's apply the changes and make sure that title is gone. And it is, but in fact if we're gonna open up another file we can see that the title appears again. So we just have to restart ID again. After that let's open up a couple of files once again and make sure that the title will no longer appear. Looks like this time everything is ok. The title is hidden. The next setting I prefer to disable is this one. Confirm before exiting the ID. By default if we'll try to quit PHP Storm it will give us a confirmation. But I prefer not to show that confirmation in the first place. So that is why I'm disabling this setting. After this let's try to tweak a couple of settings related to code styles for PHP and JavaScript languages. So to modify code style rules we have to open up code style section. And firstly let's choose PHP. Here we select spaces tab. And the only setting that I'd like to change in here is when we're going to apply auto formatting to PHP files. I'd like to keep the space between keyword fn and parentheses for arrow functions. Let's switch over to JavaScript section. Right here, firstly, I'm going to set up the tab size to be two spaces. And also inside spaces tab, I'm going to check a couple of checkboxes. Firstly, it will be object literal braces to add spaces in between object curly braces and its properties. And the next setting is going to ensure that there will be spaces between curly braces and things that we import in the import statements. Alright, let's see it in action. I'm going to switch over to JavaScript file and in here let's declare an object. But we're not going to use spaces in between curly braces and the properties. Just to see if PHP Storm is going to add those spaces automatically whenever we're gonna apply automatic formatting. So to apply formatting let's open up search by pressing shift twice and run the command reformat. Or we can use keyboard shortcut. On macOS it will be option command L. And there we go, spaces between curly braces and object properties have been added automatically. And with that we're finishing customizing PHP Storm. During this setup I was using version of PHP Storm 2023.3.6. So there is a chance that some of these settings will be changed when new versions of PHP Storm will be released. And also I'm going to add archive with all these settings in the repository, link to which I'm gonna leave in this video description. So that if you wish you can easily import these settings by doing the following. You will have to execute the command import settings inside global search which can be opened by pressing shift twice. And then after running this command all you have to do is basically choose an archive with the settings. And this way those settings will be imported. And this is it. I hope you enjoyed this series.